Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about a, uh, a new villain that has apparently been introduced in a comic book called Batman The Killing Time. So uh, without uh, further ado, let's see what exactly uh, this says and who this villain could be. So without further ado, let's get into this because I do want to know the name of this new villain and what he does. So it says here on CBR.com that The Help, the newest addition to Batman's deep bench of villains, is an unsettling, professional, and brutal killer with ties across the DC Universe. That's kind of an odd name, The Help. <laughs> is he a helper of people? Like, <laughs> damn. Batman's rogues gallery is full of massively dangerous figures and some of the most iconic villains in the medium. This means that anytime a new threat comes up, they have to really have some unique edge to stand out, with the newest one gaining an edge thanks to an element that gives him more in common with Alfred Pennyworth than any other established rogue, Batman Killing Time Number 3 by Tom King, David Marquez, Alejandro Sanchez, and VCs Clayton Cowles, introduced the new villain known as The Help, a sincerely dangerous and surprisingly professional villain who can hold his own against Batman. Well, damn. Uh... Batman The Killing Time has largely focused on a plan by Riddler and Catwoman to steal a priceless artifact away from the likes of the Penguin. Given to Bruce Wayne as a gift by Ra's al Ghul, the parcel contained what is believed to be the Eye of God, something every criminal would be willing to do anything to recover. After being left for dead by the Riddler, the Penguin ultimately decided to bring out the big gun and hire one of DC's most dangerous and secret figures, the Help. The help is quickly established as something unique as perhaps the world's most effective henchman for hire. The help is quickly shown to be an efficient and ruthless figure, quickly opening fire on Riddler with little warning and seriously wounding the villain. Notably, even as he did so, the help remained unsettling, unsettlingly polite and respectful. He was consummate, professional, affably uh, chatting with whoever hired him for a job even as he wiped the blood from a recently used blade. All of this speaks to his sheer experience and skill. With the help quietly and quickly identifying all of Batman's fighting techniques and noting their origins mid-combat, hinting at just how much he really knows. Well, shit, man. So he, he sounds he sounds like a, as if he's like fucking Taskmaster from like Marvel or even like fucking like Ra's al Ghul in a way. <laughs> During their first confrontation, the help is able to spot and counter techniques Batman learned from the likes of the villainous Rachel Ghoul, the mysterious Henry Dukard, the heroic Wildcat, and others. He even noted that he was among those who trained Black Canary. Damn! Admitting respect for her improvisational skills in combat. Throughout, he gave surprisingly patient advice to Batman and even com complimented him. But at this point in Batman's career, the help was ultimately able to knock out the Dark Knight. This proved he is one of DC's most formidable fighters, as very few who can even match Batman in combat, let alone defeat him. It's that casual attitude that made him all the more frightening. He treated beating one of the world's greatest superheroes in a one-on-one -on -one duel as just another day at the office, and was altogether unimpressed with the actions of others. He was painfully casual about his truly terrible actions, torturing someone to near death to gain information while maintaining a civil and almost positive disposition. Oh my god. <laughs> Even his ultimate decision to go solo and recover the eye for himself comes with what amounts to an exit interview with the Penguin, during which he never loses his sense of menace. In a sense, the help could even be seen as a dark contrast to the dearly departed Alfred Pennyworth. Both are full of surprises under their professional and restrained surface, and both are highly competent but quietly snarky. The help is a different breed of villain and one that might be a truly terrifying one for the way he keeps his brutal actions and professional demeanor separate. Oh my god, this dude sounds fucking violent. Just based on what I've read right there, he's violent as all of in hell. Oh my god, so um... All I gotta say is, bro, this dude sounds like he's fucking, like... Oh my god, he he sounds like one of those killers that like you would yeah, that you would encounter in real life that would just kind of like he's he's that's like just absolutely psychotic like he's kind of psychotic that's kind of like with like shit that you would encounter in real life like because you never know like someone could act like that one day 
Like, especially, like, in real life. So, I mean, it's like, you never fucking know. So, I mean... Yeah, man. So, post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of this. I don't know what to think of this. Um, I don't know if he's gonna get introduced in, like the next few DC movies that come out, like, hell, maybe he could be the next Batman villain in part two, or maybe even in join Joker and Riddler in part three. <laughs> Who knows? So, yes, do let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. And also, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, and if you guys know anyone that's a fan of um, DC, or Batman specifically, you should send this video over to them because they have a good time watching this. Also, come follow me over on Twitch and Discord. I'll be putting links to those in the description down below. So yeah, until then, everybody, I will see you all later, and goodbye!